welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be sharing with you our moving day. We decided to go with Evolution Moving Company. We asked movers to place all the large furniture and appliances into the rooms that we wanted it and the rest of the boxes into the dining room. And guys did such an amazing job. a gift oh wow it's just a water bottle how cute red fin it's the first time actually um has this little clip here wow husband look oh mini mini little ball wow then some measuring tape and some little booklet oh i will use this for sure i love this i will use this and another coffee mug wow i love it i love everything and some cookies some goodies oh thank you crystal they're so good we'll try some so what do you think about the gifts you want to try cookies all right look at yeah. that we have i some know red fin tape i know i'm gonna use this i like this this is gonna be mine we can have this wow this is awesome look at all this good stuff i'm gonna red fin. yeah i'm gonna take that that notepad yeah this is good i love Did it you already open this up and look yes at that. Wow, these cookies are so look good at that. Mm. Oh. They smell so, so good. good. These cookies smell so good. Yes. Red fin. We'll try these cookies. I'm gonna try out cookies. I'm gonna try cookie number two. It's with this crumbly stuff. And they're all they're all filled. These cookies were so delicious and they were from our agent Crystal. So thank you, Crystal. Awesome. This one not bad. In this video, I'll be sharing our unpacking and organizing different rooms of the house since we didn't have time to assemble everything in one day. So I was filming everything over the week. On our first moving in day after movers have left, we started on reassembling our furniture and connecting washer and dryer and the treadmill. The majority of movers will provide basic assembly and disassembly of the furniture at no additional cost, but since we were the ones who disassembled our furniture in the first place, we'll be reassembling them back ourselves. started our day by adjusting the furniture to the way we wanted it. It's just much easier to do it now than when stuff is added to it. Hey, 
down storm here and yeah they're putting in a new roof so they're taking off the old shingles and they're putting on new ones I unpacked the essential box before our moving day. If you watched our video where I mentioned pack a first day box, that first day box with bathroom essentials and kitchen items came with us in the car on our day when we got the house keys. I wanted at least one bathroom set up and ready for us so we can take a shower and go to bed on the day we move in. is hard. Unpacking is harder. To unpack everything quickly takes time, patience, determination and a good system. And the easiest system I used is the same as packing. I used this empty space in our family room to do all the unpacking. Once bedroom was set up, clothes was next. I didn't worry about hanging everything perfectly and making closet look organized. Once things will settle down, I know I will get back to it later. And for us, I just unpacked enough of our daily and work clothes for that week. By the third day, most of our home stuff was already unpacked, just a few small things that were left like home decorations, bathroom shower curtains and some other small items. And this artificial tree is from Ikea. I bought the planter separately and the moss to cover the foam on top as a part of decoration. our moves husband is the one who packs all of our furniture and he come up with a brilliant idea he added these pieces of cardboard to each side of the drawer to hold it in place during moving things around the house not only to work properly but so it would look cute too. So I use zip ties to organize electrical cords and wires. All the files and documents I put them aside for now until I'll find the best solution to organize them. Would you like to share your new shelf? Ooh, looks good. Actually, that was a very good idea. It's a really good shelf. It's a small one, and then you use the cardboard from that I use from Treadmill. But actually, it's a really good idea. My husband came up with a brilliant idea. Just get a cardboard. You don't need liners or some wood. Something like this. Oh, yeah, that's nice as well. Wow, what's it? Oh, that's a DIY. And that's a DIY. Great idea. You use the hangers, right? Metal ones? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there, look. Oh. Yeah, so you can take this off, mm -hmm. use it, and then you can put it back on. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, it's quick 
and straight forward. Okay, what else? And then these, you just put them in like that. And then you use these small boxes to put bags to keep them organized. Such a great idea. Wow, I like that. Well, it's not really organized, I'm just moving all the... But still, that's a good idea right there. Liquids this direction. And the cardboard, I love that idea. Really love that idea. Before unpacking, organizing the kitchen first, I wanted to align all the shelves and drawers with shelf liners. I already had some of the shelf liners from the old house and they fit perfectly into each drawer. And for the rest of the cabinet shelves, husband helped me to cut some new ones. The kitchen cabinets are a little too high for me. I asked my husband to readjust a few shelves. This kitchen has a lot of storage, but somehow I still feel that I need some additional shelves for my cabinets. I will stop by Bloomfield and find out if it's possible for them to add at least a couple more shelves into each cabinet. For now, I'm unpacking and putting everything into drawers just to get the everyday life going, but I know I'll be moving things around as time goes on. Spice and seasoning jars are not the best looking, but I did order some new spice jars online, so stay tuned for my spice organizing ideas and DIYs. These small containers are from Dollar Tree Store, and they are great to organize seasoning packets, coffees and teas, and K-cups and coffee filters, and much, much more. I divided this whole video into small separate videos where I'll share how I organized our bathroom, kitchen, family room and the rest of the house, so stay tuned! And here I'm just getting the fitness balls ready. If you ever wonder why do people bite them in the first place, fitness balls are a great option for a gentle back mobility. Besides exercise, sitting on the fitness ball instead of a chair can stabilize the muscles surrounding your spine, improve motion, and reduce back pain. So if you sit long hours at your desk and by the end of the day you have a back sore, want to consider trying a fitness ball next time. New construction house comes with this home kit that includes interior and exterior paint, manuals and warranties. What I did, I gathered everything together into one box and put it in the upper cabinet for now.
So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for kitchen and bathroom organizing videos, cleaning and cooking. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye!